I say, one of the most beautiful views in Australia. Hey, good morning. So after spending a few days in Cairns, we're going to continue making our way up north today. We're going to go past the Daintree River um, into the Daintree Rainforest to Cape Tribulation, which we're pretty excited about. Now, the Daintree Rainforest is actually one of the World Heritage Sites as well, and it's actually dated back to 180 million years ago, which is pretty wild, especially to think of the fact that it's as old as when the dinosaurs existed, which is pretty crazy. So it's going to be about two and a half hours to get there. We're going to stop at a few places on the way. had a stroll at Palm Cove which is one of the little resort towns just north of Cairns and now we're going to keep making our way up north. We're actually going to go on to the Great Barrier um, Coastal Drive, Great Barrier Reef Coastal Drive which is actually known as one of the most beautiful and scenic coastal drives in Australia. Check that view out, guys. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't know. Just crossing the Daintree River now. Would highly not recommend a swim in here as it will be your last swim because this place is filled with pretty large crocs. Wastelands through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. Hey guys, we just got through to the Daintree Rainforest. We're just going for a bit of a walk now, hoping to find a cassowary. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. We were actually just reading um, about cassowaries. They're actually the third largest bird in the world. And um, interestingly, actually, they eat lots and lots of fruit and they don't digest the seeds. So they're really good at keeping the rainforest thriving and spreading the seeds throughout. Let's go find one. Oh, and also cassowaries can be pretty aggressive if you get too close. So we just read a briefing on what to do if they attack you. And of course the answer is always don't run away, but just retreat slowly facing the cassowary and put something solid in between you and the bird. They don't put you in there. That's a bit rude. <laughs> Pretty nuts, these tree ferns have leaves that are actually 10 meters high off the ground. Rainforest palm trees that grow up to 30 meters tall. Only in Australia are fruits also out to kill you. just reached the top of the rainforest canopy and it is absolutely stunning up here. And now I'll just share with you my word of the day, which I may have shared with you in Coranda, which is epiphyte. And that is that thing right over there, which is a little plant that uses the structure of a larger plant to sit in, but it doesn't actually use its nutrients or water and it just chills there and keeps growing. Pretty cool. We've just stopped at the Daintree Ice Creamery where there's an orchard where they grow a whole bunch of fruits including weird things like dragon fruit and durian and black sapote. So we've just got some ice cream. We've got these interesting flavors here, all homegrown here on the property. Um, coconut, mango, black sapote and wattle seed. So let's see how that goes and we're just going to go for a walk around the orchard. Delicious as always. Now we'll try the black sapote. 
It's a bit chocolatey, which is interesting because it's a fruit. And the wattle seed. It tastes a bit like hazelnut. Mm. What about the coconut? Oh, that one's hidden right under. Let's try and get some of that. That tastes like coconut. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is your favorite? A flavor I'm familiar with. Um, I'm gonna have to say mango. Obviously mango. <laughs> Guys, we just got to the Cape Tribulation camping ground. We got a pretty awesome campsite. We're just about a 30 meter walk right to the beach. So we'll just get our tent set up, get ready for the night before the sun goes down in about an hour or so. Yeah, so we're all set up and then we'll take a walk to the beach and go from there. Ah, oh, Mikasa is ready for a good night's sleep. Looks like a beautiful beach for a swim, but if you're wondering why nobody is in the water, that's because there have been a few saltwater crocs that have been spotted here today, so we'll just keep our distance. Together, pretty impressive meal on our first night camping with our Thai food leftovers from last night. <laughs> just went for a walk to the beach and I wish this camera could show you what I just saw which was just spectacular. Firstly the stars on the beach and secondly all the spiders eyes I can see are reflecting through my flashlight. <laughs> We just had a lovely sleep camping in the rainforest and now we're gonna head for a snorkel in the Great Barrier Reef. Hopefully the sun comes out soon. Waiting for our boat there in the Ocean Safari to take us to the Mackay Reef, which is supposedly one of the most beautiful reefs on the Great Barrier Reef. Pretty excited about that.
magnificent snorkeling on what is probably the most beautiful piece of reef I have seen in my life. And now we are just chilling on the sand clay on Mackay Reef with a view that is pretty out of this world right now, to be honest.